everyone. Hey, JP. <laughs> so um, as you enter the theater, of course, uh, that's going to be our box office right there. So uh, that's where you your tickets get scanned and you get to meet our box office manager for the day. And you enter through these double doors and into our cabaret area. We, we call this our cabaret area because before, when we were doing smaller shows, um, we used to do um, smaller shows just in this area, not on the main stage. So that would be uh, a small stage up there. And um, we just set up some chairs right here. So it's like a, it's like a cabaret piano, piano bar um, setting. But now it's um, all these um, high top chairs and seats are permanent here. And we don't do any smaller shows now. <laughs> so uh, the Milan Theater pre-COVID can hold 236. Um, uh, si sitting down, um, uh, uh, standing room. We can hold about five, uh, 500, um, but right now we are we're still at 30% capacity. So uh, it's between 100 to 120. And do you rent this out for uh, occasions? Could someone come here and rent yes, the building? Um, not right now. We're not doing rentals right now. Um, hopefully soon we're, uh, we can do it again. Um, so here's our, um, we also recreated our seating. We modified our seating so that we can socially distance um, our patrons. Uh, this, again, uh, with the previous setup, um, you know, people used to sit shoulder to shoulder, but now um, everything is, and every, um, every chair is, every seat is a VIP seat. So. Um, all of them have uh, cabaret tables in front of them. We have seat, uh, seating uh, groups for three, four, and two. Um, you know, the, the, the challenge with COVID is that if someone, if, if it's like a, if it's like an odd number, like if it's just a, a single person, um, and then they choose to sit on a chair that's for three, that we don't have a choice but to block off the rest of um, uh, the rest of that row. So. Um, if you're planning to go to the Milan Theater, <laughs> go invite your friends and have a great time. <laughs> so, uh, the, the short history of the Milan Theater, we don't know exactly when it was constructed. The earliest um, date that we could find was 1910, and that was transferred from the first owner to the second, uh, to the second owner. Uh, we actually have a historical gallery at the back, so if you want to check that out, and there used to be a balcony back here, right? Yes, and we are planning on putting it back. So um, the Milan Theater started as a movie theater, and uh, uh, the balcony, um, be, again, this was, you know, um, uh, 1920s, 1910s, uh, it used to be segregated. So um, uh, we are putting back the balcony, and um, hopefully to increase our capacity to like around 400 so that we can bring um, bigger national acts. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. So, and, and the theater itself has been, um, has been several things in the past. Uh, again, it was a movie theater. It was a basketball court. Really? It was a fire hall. It was the uh, uh, community center. It was Roxy's restaurant um, back in the 70s. And uh, now we're just really happy that it's, again, a thriving um, venue. As are we. Yeah. As are we. So, uh, we used to have different tiers of tickets. Um, we used to have, like, the first five rows was VIP and then main reserve in the rest of the theater and in the high top tables. But now, again, because of, you know, there's certain capacity, everything, all, all the seating is VIP now. <laughs> So the murals, um, I don't remember the, the they are um, they're nationally commissioned. Uh, they are supposed to depict uh, John Milton's uh, Paradise Lost. Uh, they said that John Milton came came here, and you know, uh, I'm not really sure how historically, historically accurate that is, but that is the story of the murals. That's um, really cool. I never knew that. Yeah, depicting John Milton's Paradise Lost. So if you are a performer, or if you have been to our stage, or if you were, if you're, if you're an audience that was asked to go up the stage, <laughs> uh huh. 
inside look. Yeah, this is uh, neat. Okay. Backstage. So we don't have, so again, because the theater was previously a, uh, um, a movie theater, we don't really have a big um, backstage because, you know, obviously the, the, the screen would have been here before and there was no need for a backstage. So this is our backstage right here. It's pretty small, but we, you know, but we, again, we're pretty creative, so uh, we're able to do a lot of things with, uh, with, with the uh, limited space that we have. Well, I have to tell you, from standing on the stage here, this theater looks a lot bigger this way than it does the other way. <laughs> yeah. and, and even the, the performers, uh, you know, we just had in, um, a national um, modern country band uh, this this Saturday. They're called Triple Realtor. And they say every time they come here and perform here, just the, the atmosphere is just incredible. Well, like you um, mentioned earlier, there's yeah. magic here. Yes. That's what absolutely. everyone says. <laughs> So that's it pretty much for this area. All right, we'll start in the next section. So JP, what are these uh, seats here? They look pretty old. Yeah, so so this was actually donated to us by a, um, by a person from Maryland. His grandfather was a collector of theater memorabilia and he reached out to us and he said that, hey, we, we have your uh, theater seats from the 1960s. And my grandfather told me that these were the seats that were um, damaged during the 1962 Great March Storm, which, as you can see on that picture. Look at um, that. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. And here's, this is interesting, this wall. Yeah, it, this, is, uh, this is our, um, our short um, historical wall. Yeah. Uh, we are going to update it um, soon. Um, we, uh, so one of our staff works for the Look at uh, that. historic for the, uh, at the Dover Archives and she has dug up some pretty interesting history of the Milan Theater. So we're going to expand this, um, we're going to expand this wall too. Wow. And aside from that, we also have uh, these um, original theater chairs from the 1910s. Oh, um, how the neat! Local, the local Knights of Columbus were the ones who, who stored this and um, and it actually made their way to the antique shop in front of in front of the theater, the Mercantile. And one of our staff saw it and it was like, "Hey, we we saw that the the the, the theater chairs from the 1910s were in there." So <laughs> her family actually bought it and donated it to us. Oh, how nice! So yeah. <laughs> so another cool part of the Milton Theater. So John just told me this is a picture of when it was a theater. You can see the balcony and the sides where the sound were made out of horse hair. So. Okay, so they also have a bar and a snack bar, just like a real theater with benefits because they have spirits and beer here. So JP, you wanted to tell us a little bit about your remote ordering? Yeah, so on a busy night, um, we're going to have uh, the queue system for the bar is all is all um, pretty spaced out, of course, for social distancing. But the one thing that we introduced last year when we were open is now we uh, we now have uh, mobile ordering. So um, our patrons don't even have to go to the bar and crowd the lobby. Um, they can just go to, the, uh, to their phone, melontheater.com. We've got a button there that says um, uh, in-show ordering and they can just um, pick whatever it is that they want to order from our bar and it'll tell them once it's ready for pickup. Oh, that's great yeah. that we don't have to wait in line. All right.